All right, guys, so in this video, I'm going to show you the things you can do with brushes in Autodesk Sketchbook and how you can actually customize brushes in Autodesk Sketchbook. Now there is no feature to create a new brush in Autodesk Sketchbook for the free version. But what I did find was you can play around with the brushes in Autodesk Sketchbook to the point where it seems like you have a new brush, okay? So that's what I'm gonna show you guys in this video. So without any further ado, let's just jump right in. So the first thing is brush type. I'm just gonna pick up a random brush. So let's just say I have this 4B pencil as my brush selected. So you see this option called brush types. Here what you can do is you can change the type of the brush from standard to anything else that you like. So let's just say you drew something with this brush and you really liked its texture. Now you want to blend it with another color that you have. I'm just gonna pick your random color right here. Let's just say you want to blend these together but you want to kind of maintain its texture. What you can do, you can always go ahead and change it to either colorless brush or a smudge brush. I'm just gonna convert it into a smudge brush and we're gonna see how it is actually working. So it's smudging out the colors really, really well. Now this is just one option, okay? You can change it to just anything. Now I've changed it to synthetic paint and look how it is working now. Looks like watercolor brush but it has a little bit of texture. You can also change its blend mode. So here we have types of brushes you can change it to, but they have also included blend modes in brush types. So you can either change it to add, and again, it's just gonna glow if you go over some color. You're gonna, you can change it to multiply if you are creating some shadowy part because multiply blend mode always darkens the color up. So that's pretty amazing amazing. That's something you can play around with on sketchbook with just any, any brush. So the other thing you can play around with is pressure. Okay. Now it's pretty straightforward. I'm pretty sure you guys are pretty familiar with this setting. And if you hit advanced, there's going to be this tab called pressure and you can actually tweak your brush by changing these settings suitable for whatever it is that you're drawing. What do I mean by that? So let's just say I have picked up this brush called course. I don't know how how to pronounce this watercolor brush, right? And let's just say I really like the texture of this brush, but I want to use it to create eyelashes. But the thing is, I won't be able to create really nice eyelashes with this brush because it's really, really uniform when it comes to its pigment, when it comes to its flow, correct? It doesn't really matter if I'm putting light pressure, more pressure into the screen. The pigment of this brush is pretty much the same. So let's just say I want to keep this texture, but I want want to also use this brush to create eyelashes. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to be um, keeping the size with heavy pressure. I'm just going to decrease the size with light pressure. I'm also going to decrease flow with heavy pressure with this is pigmentation of the brush. And I'm also obviously going to reduce flow with light pressure. What we're trying to do is we're trying to create an effortless stroke, effortless hair stroke. So now when I create hair strokes, you see how crispy I just don't want to say crispy because that's not even a word that I should be using to describe this, but this just looks perfect for eyelashes, eyebrows, hair, and everything around that while keeping the texture of the brush. So that's that. So the other thing you can play around with is hardness or softness of the brush. So I'm picking up this airbrush and you want to go to the advanced setting and you want to click nib. Here you can play around the the harshness or the softness of the brush. So right now the brush is really, really soft. Okay. Let's just say you want to use the same brush for whatever that is you're painting right now, but you want to actually make the brush a little hard towards the edges or around the edges. So what you're going to do is you're going to increase the hardness of the brush. Pretty straightforward, really simple. And it's just going to make the edges of the brush really, really hard. And obviously this comes handy, especially when I am painting a portrait or I'm painting skin because that's where you really need a good combination of soft and harsh looking shadows and highlights. That's when the setting comes handy because you can switch from soft 
brush to hard brush okay this setting is actually available for each and every brush so let's just say i picked up tattoo inker but i'm not really liking the harshness of this brush i can always go ahead and reduce that and make it into a soft brush while keeping the texture of it okay i'm just gonna go ahead and increase the hardness of this brush once again and you see the difference okay the next thing is shape and texture of the brush so for this i'm picking up wet frayed bristles brush and this is a watercolor brush i really really like this brush okay the setting that i'm talking about again comes under this tab called nib what we're doing here what we're dealing with here is the shape of this brush when i disable this the shape of this brush comes to be this way now here what you can do is you can always go ahead and edit the shape of this brush so let's just say i go ahead and change it to this shape and i'm now just gonna go ahead and give it a try now you can see how textury this is i really like this texture i'm kind of surprised right now um it's like this spray paint kind of texture it has they have plenty of shapes in here you cannot add your own custom shape because obviously we're using a free version of it i don't know how it is in the paid version of it but yeah you can do this much okay so but you can also again play around with the texture of the brush also because they have a whole lot of textures in here so let me just pick this tar texture okay it's gonna clear and just gonna start painting as you guys can see this is creating that star kind of texture but also weirdly maintaining that watercolor base you can even play around with some settings in here which comes under texture you can invert it so invert means that the stars are now going to be pink in color and the stars are now going to have the brush texture okay you can also play around with pressure you can play around with brightness or contrast or the scale of the brush okay i want you to go ahead and try this for yourself but all i'm trying to show you here is that I, you can play around with this setting to tweak and change your brush into anything that you like the last setting which can come handy is randomness and you tap onto the brush and go to advanced setting and hit randomness there's gonna be four options to play around with the randomness of the brush what do we mean by that size randomness flow randomness and spacing randomness even though you're not really gonna need it that much to be honest but i'm just gonna show you an example so let's just say i increase spacing randomness up to the max okay and now i'm just gonna paint with this brush so as you guys can see the space between the stems of this brush has increased okay but it is also pretty random it's also not that uniform but is this really useful i think it is so now that you see this texture this looks so good and can come really handy when it comes to painting watercolor paintings okay when i create watercolor paintings i really like textures like this it obviously depends on where you're creating and where you're painting but just look at the texture now and when i actually set it to what it really was it was 2.8 something okay and now let me just paint it again so you see the difference between the texture now i'm just gonna change flow randomness i'm just gonna increase it to the max almost and now i'm just gonna start painting it so you see it's not all pigmented as it was before okay it has some texture which is repeating itself which is really really amazing and i'm now gonna try size with randomness if i increase size randomness of this brush also and now let me just try it again it's again not giving me that pigment that it was giving me before rather it's giving me this texture okay now it's not really repeating itself now the pattern and the texture is not really repeating itself but there is a little bit of texture it's not all pigmented okay i have not personally used these settings yet the randomness setting yet but i wanted to include this because this can come handy when it comes to adding a little bit of texture to a brush that you already like so that was that that's how you can customize your brushes in Autodesk sketchbook again they are not new brushes you can always go back and reset its default setting if you want to go back to the original brush but if you want to kind of have fun play around with the brushes okay play around with your painting i know this video was helpful let me know which part of this video was interesting for you and what you're gonna try yourself 
yourself let me know that and if you do create something out of my videos out of my tutorials any of my tutorials then do not forget to tag me on instagram i would love to see what you've created other than that i will see you guys in my next video